So step three, searching and browsing. Before we dive into searching, it's a great idea to set your preferences. That way, instead of getting overwhelmed by a huge number of search results, the only materials you'll see are those that fit your preferences. Remember, Livy is a library for all ages, but we'll probably want to stick to juvenile and young adult literature and audiobooks. So as you can see, there's a plus sign in a circle and the word preferences. So we're going to tap on the icon next to that word. And you can see all of the preferences that Libby offers. So the categories include format. You can leave it at any or you can change it to book or audiobook. Language. There's a number of different languages of material offered through Libby. So if you just want English or if you're looking for something in Spanish, you can change that as well. Audience, this is one that we're going to select right away. We'll want to stick with juvenile or young adult in terms of what you'd want to be reading or listening to. Compatibility right now is set at Libby. So because you're using a school issued device, you won't be able to use the Kindle versions of ebooks or audiobooks. So you'll want to make sure you're using a Libby compatible version that you can read or listen in the app. Availability right now is set to everything. So oftentimes very popular titles are not available right away. But if you want to check out a book right away or if you want to check out an audiobook and listen right away, I suggest changing this preference to available now. And then sort by, it will sort um, every search that you do by default, so that usually uh, means relevance, but you can change it to popularity, date added, release date, author, or title. So how you want your search results organized. All right, so for my first search, we're going to apply some preferences. So if you want to do this along with me, we're going to apply preferences to format. We're going to change that to audiobooks. And audience, we're going to change to juvenile. And then down at the list, at the bottom of the list, you're going to want to click on that apply preferences button. So now our preferences are applied. So on this library home screen, you will see a number of curated lists that pop up automatically, both when you open the app or if you apply different press preferences. And these are titles chosen by the Libby librarians. But what we want to do right now with those preferences applied is we're going to go ahead and search. So at the very top of your screen, you'll see a spyglass and the word search. You're going to click right on that word and we're going to type in a search term. So let's type in the word baseball. And it's going to auto generate a number of different titles or series. So if that's what you're looking for, you could go ahead and click on one of those. But we're just going to keyword search the term baseball. So we'll click search. So right now, the results we see are all audiobooks matching the term baseball that are also juvenile fiction or nonfiction. Up at the top, you can see if you want to limit your search or refine it, you can go ahead and click those uh, hyperlinked terms. So if you're looking just for fiction, a story, you could click on that. If you're looking for nonfiction, you could click on that as well. You can also further refine your search. So over on um, the right hand side, you'll see refine with those three little lines. If you click on that, you can choose how to further refine. So maybe right now you just really want to check out an audiobook um, that has a baseball theme. So you don't want to see everything that's available through Libby. You just want to see the things that you can check out right now. So if you click on availability and do available now, that's going to decrease the search results. So now instead of 20 audiobooks featuring baseball, we've moved down to 10 and you can see all of our results. So that is searching with preferences. Um, let's go back and do one more search. So we're going to click the library tab to go home.
And we're going to change our preferences a little bit. So if you click on preferences again, we're going to change our format. We're going to change it to books. So and click apply preferences. So this time when we search, we're just going to see um, children's books that correspond with our term. So this time up in the search box, let's search the keyword fantasy. So man, we have a huge list. So our results list is 2,146 books that have the term fantasy somewhere either in the title or the book information in a subject heading. So we have a lot of results. So what you definitely would want to do here is probably refine this list. So you don't have so much to go through. So if we click refine again, um, maybe we would like to again see available now. And then maybe we want to refine and just see those in English. And then maybe we want to further refine and we'll sort by, how about we do by popularity? So what's the most popular? And so then we can kind of go through our list. So all of those, all of the books you see right now, because we changed that uh, preference to available now, any of these you could check out. So searching and adding preferences is a great way to find exactly what you're looking for. In addition, when searching, you can search by title, author, or keyword. Now, browsing. Browsing is a little bit different than searching. Browsing is similar to if you went into a physical library and just walked up and down the aisles looking at the shelves, pulling books off, maybe flipping open um, to their cover flap, reading the brief description, looking at the cover. So that's what we're going to do right now as we browse, but we're going to do it in a digital format. So we're going to go back to the library. And we can keep these preferences applied, or you could remove them, or you could change them as well. So what you'll see with preferences applied is you'll see a number of um, books chosen by librarians again. So these lists, these curated lists, change from time to time. Right now, because we're in the month of July, this list is called Red, White, and Blue. So it's all stories about um, America and the revolution. So if this type of subject would interest you, you could kind of go through this list by clicking on those titles. And you could browse through. If you wanted to learn more about a book, all you have to do is tap on the cover item. It will give you the title, the author, a brief synopsis. If it's not available, it will not say the word borrow under the book. It will say place a hold. And you can place a hold, but it also tells you the wait time. So right now for Chains by Lori Hulse Anderson, the wait time is over six months. So you might want to go back and add that preference of available now if you want something to read today. So we're going to go back again and we'll go back to the library. And we also can browse by clicking the word explore in kind of this upper right hand corner. So we're going to click explore. And these again are just a bunch of lists that the Libby librarians have made. So there are guides, kids, teens, and then guides by genre. So romance is a genre, mystery thriller is a genre. There's also guides by newer items added to the collection, what's really popular, what's available, so that means it's ready right now. Skip the line, so that's if something was just recently returned and it's a popular title, you can go ahead and choose that. Um, by subject, spotlight, that is similar to that red, white, and blue list, and different searches you can do. Let's select one of these explore guides. So why don't we click on what's popular? So we'll click the arrow. And we can look at all popular titles, popular books, or popular audiobooks. So let's do popular books because we were looking for ebooks just moment uh, just a few moments ago. So as you can see, it's still applying our preferences. So it's applying that um, juvenile fiction or juvenile nonfiction preference, 
as well as um, ebooks because we chose books. So right now we're seeing just a gigantic list of what's popular in terms of ebooks on Libby for juvenile readers. So you can scroll through, you probably recognize some of these titles, but again, this is everything. So if you'd want to check out something today, you're going to have to refine. So you could again refine by language, um, format, we've already chose books, so we don't need to refine by format. But in terms of availability, perhaps we want to check available now. So that has, our list is still quite long, but it has decreased our list. So we can um, go through and find something to check out immediately, which is really handy. With preferences in place, however, if we go back, some of the explore lists might be blank. So for example, if we were gonna click on the guide to mystery and thriller, there's no collections that match our preferences because usually when we think about a mystery or thriller genre we think about adult um, novels so there might be some of these explore lists with your preferences applied that don't really have anything so we could also do what's new and how about we do new in all titles so we'll see a number of um, items that were recently added to the Libby collection. So there is quite a lot. It's going to be both audiobooks and books because we said see all. And so again, you might want to refine. So that is searching and browsing. Next, we have to discuss placing holds as well as checking out material.